Welcome back to the live stream. That was Business Casual, and we are here in the studio with Standby after a great performance. Awesome Good job, boys. guys. Uh, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourselves to our audience at home? Say what parts you sing, maybe where you go to school, all that. Sure. Well, I'm Ryan. I sing uh, tenor in the quartet, and I'm currently attending University of North Texas studying music education. I'm Mark. Um, I'm the baritone of the quartet, and I'm attending Baldwin Wallace University studying musical theater. Musical theater. <laughs> I'm Kyle. I am also majoring in uh, music education and also majoring in vocal performance at the University of North Texas. I'm Carson. I'm the bass, and I'm majoring in accounting and finance at the University of Tulsa. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. So a little bit of distance in the quartet, it sounds like. So you've been getting together still pretty regularly in spite of all of that? Yeah, we... Um, uh, you know, we all grew up together going to the same high school, okay. so it was really special getting to kind of uh, be with all of our choir friends and form a quartet, and when we ended up going off our own separate ways, we ended up sticking together, and it's, it's been really cool coming back during the summer and getting to see each other and perform together. That's awesome. Do you have any shout-outs for coaches or friends and family watching at home? Uh, well, hi, Mom, and uh, <laughs> we want to give a special shout-out to uh, Mr. Kent, Carson's dad, who, is, uh, who has been a very helpful coach and mentor throughout just since we've been singing and since we, start, since we started as a quartet. So. Yeah, and I think all of our families have been really supportive across this whole barbershop journey, and, so, and a lot of them are watching right now, so thank you all for all your support. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome. And this was your second year uh, at this contest, right? Yeah. How are things a little bit different this time around, the second time, as opposed to the first time out? Well, um, having the experience of doing it once already, it's a lot, I feel like there's a lot less pressure, you know, because like we know what, what to expect when we're coming on stage. Yeah. And it's just, and it's, it's been an interesting, like the process of preparing because we've had a lot less time together because we're all in college now. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we've like learned how to rehearse more productively and we, we've grown as musicians for sure. And so it's just, it's been a journey. I saw some very strong agreement on the say, productive rehearsals. Now who has the ADD in this, in this quartet? <laughs> Well, before we went on stage, I pointed out, hey, guys, look at how cool that organ is. Okay, so, uh, I, don't, I don't blame you, I guess, on that. It's a very beautiful organ. That's yeah. in there. It's uh, pretty magnificent. Yeah, but in addition to ADD, unfortunately, Carson's house, where we usually do our rehearsing, does have a uh, refrigerator with food inside that you know we tend to <laughs> snack on. We it's probably owe Carson like $500 in food. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was expecting this to go to like animals or something else distracting no, no, or no, small no, no. children, but food, I love it. I, yeah. uh, to well, be young again. Yeah, exactly, in the college days, that was like, that's all that mattered. Yeah, I know. It's a bag of Doritos, I'll be there. Like, sign yeah. me up. I'm now I can actually it. gain weight. I couldn't do that when I was 19. <laughs> I'm waiting for that, it's coming though. Everyone assures you are me lucky. it's coming, yeah. <laughs> now I have to ask the question that everyone is actually really wondering, how do you fit that bass voice into that vessel of a body? <laughs> um, that's a good question, to be honest. I'm kind of a baritone at heart, but we didn't nice. have anyone else that could sing bass. So for the last three years, I've just been singing bass. And then nice. I guess I got used yeah. to it. Well, the irony of you guys uh, crushing a Gas House Gang song and paying, um, uh, paying homage to Jim Henry and his uh, also short stature and great bass singing, <laughs> the irony was not lost on me. I really appreciated yes. that. Patrick did, did very much appreciate that. So, yeah, you all were, were really, really fabulous and hope that you felt good about your hit up there. And uh, I'm certainly excited to see how things pan out throughout the rest of this contest. Yeah, so definitely. thanks again, guys, for, uh, for joining us. I think we have another quartet uh, yet that's going to turn over and, and join us in a matter of minutes. Um, but if there's anyone uh, that you have forgotten to give a shout out to, speak now for however old your piece because they will hate you forever if you don't say it. <laughs> Again, it's just friends and family awesome. who have always been supportive. Sweet. Yeah.